Hey guys. So we got Melania in this outfit. I just want to show it to you. I, I don't know if you guys are following that there's some kind of blockchain watermark on the ballots this year so they can, you know, kind of track what was going on. But look at her. She looks so good. They're like, oh, she went out without a mask to vote, I guess, to vote. Uh, let's see. Yeah, to, to cast her vote in Florida. Looking elegant in a 4,500 chain print Gucci dress. I mean, look. She looks amazing. She always looks amazing. Look at those shoes. It's She's perfect head to toe, yet she's been on no magazines at all. I mean, it's just bizarre. Bizarre. She should be on every magazine so we can take a note of how to keep yourself so gorgeous. <laughs> and they're making it like she's not wearing a mask. Okay, well, maybe she was told to take the mask off. Um, this is such a weird optical illusion here. I thought this was like split and showing her leg because it's the same color as this, you know, but it's not. It's just her bag. Look at those shoes, man. She's 50 years old and she's just very, very good looking person. Um, you know, whatever her age is. Let's see. Let's see the rest of it. Look how pretty she is. Okay. Now, I don't know what that is. Is that like, a, you know, from some kind of shot or vaccine? This is uh, the blockchain, right? It's blockchain, and I don't think this is an accident that she's wearing this dress. Somebody pointed it out, and look at this. Everybody else is wearing masks in the background. Did they tell her to take off the mask to take the little walk in the blockchain dress or, you know, and now they're going to be like, oh, she didn't, she wasn't practicing, whatever. Um, I, I, I don't know. Looks like there's people in the mirror, in the window, filming her in masks. These people look sort of official, like security, right? So let's go. So she's in, um, they're residents of the state of Florida, and when they both filed paperwork to make Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort their main domicile. So if she has the legal right to do that. These people, look at her, so gorgeous. He's got like some kind of star on his. He might be security, I don't know. Um, the mother of one was escorted out of the polling station by Wendy Satori Link, the Palm Beach County Supervisor of Elections. She's got a peace symbol. Look how pretty she looks. I bet she was told not to wear her mask. I just think the dress, you know, has a lot to do, you know, they show us codes, right? So in this article I'm reading, it says basically it was 77 degrees out. And like when my dad fakes deaths, he says he's 77 years old. Like there's always 77. It's on everything. I don't know what it means. If you guys know, please tell me. I, I don't know. Morton and Barbara Mandel Recreation Center. Right, we got Morton Salt, town of Palm Beach. Um, I believe this is a staged event. They've asked her to take her mask off. I, I, I don't know why. Um, there she is again. 
she gave such a wonderful speech um, related to her husband. She just, she was very, she's just very elegant. You know, she, she has presence and when she speaks, people listen, but she doesn't, she hasn't been out that much, you know, going out and speaking and she just started to, and I, I'm just, I'm glad that she's doing that. Look at this jacket. So great. It's almost military. I have a jacket very similar. It, it's like a, like a wool jacket with these buttons. Mine's goes down like halfway, you know, halfway through the calf. I got make America great again. Most of the people are wearing their masks, right? His fell. <laughs> so, so yesterday I went somewhere and they said that my mask was not correct. You know, like I had to go fix my mask because some of the masks aren't, um, you know, they're not allowing like certain masks anymore. And my mask has a filter on it. So they're like, we're not allowing the filters in the building. So always bring two masks in case, you know, they start to treat you like you're a leper because you have a filter or the wrong mask or whatever. Anyway, she's looking fantastic. But this blockchain, um, there was some kind of watermark on the ballots. And was that a whole, you know, what they just did, a, a gigantic sting operation? Like, what did they do? You know, like... Trump was winning and then we went to sleep and now he's losing. It's just bizarre. I, I don't know what's going on, but, um, you know, it's pretty interesting. Hidden message in Melania Trump's election day outfit. God, she's so pretty. Twitter has exploded with theories about the hidden meaning, which featured a chain linked pattern. And there's something about blockchain if you guys have heard this with the election, with the votes, where the ballots had some kind of watermark. All right. And now I don't know. I didn't, I, I don't know. It's made up of horse bits, an item of a horse tack, which controls the horse's mouth. Now that's really interesting. Others also compared the pattern to chains or handcuffs. We saw Melania Trump wearing her dress to vote and it had handcuffs one person. They are in control. I was going to tweet a joke about chains on Melania's dress, but I'm sure someone beat me to it somewhere on here. Sending a message saying she's in chains. She's divorcing him soon. I do not think Melania is divorcing him. I think that's weird. But I do think that um, this has to do with the blockchain and the... I mean, that's just what I believe it is and having to do with the watermark on these ballots. They're saying, to, to, you know, does Melania think that dress will inspire empathy for her? She's just at the point of saying whatever. They're not going to, they're not putting me on magazines anyway. Why not just be gorgeous? I mean, she's so pretty. It's just haters. Oh dear. Links, continuation, second term. She's so elegant and pretty. She was the only person. Let's see what she says here. It's weird. I can't make it. Oh. Hey, instead of uh, with the president. Great. Thank you. Tell us why you voted today instead of uh, with the president a week and a half well, ago. Well, it's election day, so I wanted to come here to vote uh, today on the election day. Thank you very much. She's just classy.
Miss Trump's spokeswoman said the first lady was the only person at the polling site, with the exception of a couple of poll workers and her own staffers, all of whom were tested. Um, they said no one was near the first lady because of social distancing and the privacy people received when they voted. This is weird, too. The Johnny Depp thing confirms appeal against UK libel ruling. Johnny Depp, man. God, these people. All right. So if you guys have other theories about the... I think it's funny. This is the horse's mouth. This is a bit, right? And it's also a link. Link in the chain, right? And uh, there's something about these watermarks. So... Maybe it was a sting, you guys. Maybe the whole election was a sting to catch certain wrongdoers in states.